Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday, April the 26th. My name is Gary Pier. I'm Adam Josky. You are indeed Adam Josky and it's good to have you on the show. We are celebrating 20 years of Adam Josky at the moment. Big party going on down at the office, Adam. Uh, it's all happening in your, you've got the mirror ball on the wall and you're uh, on the ceiling. Uh, the music's blaring, people are dancing, everyone's enjoying 20 years of Adam Josky. Well, I wish it was like that, but it was more it's like a group of teams sitting in a uh, room. Um, yes. With some videos showing with some party pies that's right, exactly. <laughs> that's right. and some sausage rolls yes no but you're right we did have a fantastic night the other night and thank you we to did. you and, and the rest of the team pleasure putting a little thing together for my 20 years at gary pier we did uh, i'd like to say it feels like yesterday but it really doesn't no it's it like 20 years yeah for us too yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time but adam of course has enjoyed 20 years in real estate with us of which that is 90, 95% of your real estate mm. career. And in that time, he has been both an inspiration and a, uh, and a source of inspiration and jocularity. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun with and at you. Uh, but that's just typical, isn't it, for us? Because we're those sort of guys, Adam. Uh, but you have done well. You've been featured in books. You've been uh, out there uh, talk, doing talks and, and, and speaking to people in our industry. And you've been a great support and mentor to our team. Thank so you. thank you, Adam, for all of the, the work. It's been good for us. Thank you. And thanks for the video you put together. There was a, a yes. tribute video that the, the team made for me which is more like a roast it was a roast. Uh, we, went, we went back to people who worked for you 10 years ago and uh, interviewed them and uh, dragged them out of the nut house to, <laughs> to, to interview them yeah. uh, but we had some fun didn't we Good fun. Uh, we did so let's talk a bit about the real estate market we don't have anything to review in terms of auctions adam because of course we had anzac day the yep. long weekend Busy weekend of open inspections, of course, which was good, but no auctions to speak of. It's amazing, um, actually, I've got to say, uh, lot, uh, on public holidays, our numbers yeah. tend to not vary. No. They seem to be pretty consistent. If anything, sometimes they swell. That's right, because people are around. Uh, so. However, uh, a lot of vendors choose not to auction, and mm. we can understand that, yeah. because you've always got that doubt, maybe someone was away. So we generally don't have any auctions that weekend, which is why, for example, Mr Kingston's away, and it is a wonderful celebration having him away, I've got to tell you, <laughs> because I get to do GPTV with you and Sally. No one bags my eyebrows, my hair. My my sleeves, my you know. Maybe we can have a tribute night for that. Uh, well. Yeah, I tell you what, you'd, you'd want a lot of time because it gives me hell. <laughs> so it's uh, so just you know enjoy your trip. Okay, I away. can pick up where you left off if you like. Yeah, thanks, I don't reckon you do a good job of it as well. Uh, but we do have a busy weekend upcoming, Adam. We have sixteen auctions yep. over eleven suburbs, uh, and we're going to review them. But before we do that, I think we should talk about where we are because, of course, there's always one special property of the week uh, that we have GPTV featured at, and uh, this week it's right here in Kuyong Road. Uh, how about this home? This is amazing. We're at 19B Kyong Road in North Caulfield, uh, so it's got an amazing address. Um, the people who have built this, uh, Wold Architects, Michael Wold, who does some phenomenal work. He's got a good um, eye for detail, hasn't he? He's incredible, yeah. Um, yeah. along with uh, Olive Constructions. And uh, the, the two of them have teamed up and done a number of projects that we've had the honour of selling over the last yeah. few years. And now these guys, they've got, they're, getting, they're building a name for themselves in the, you know, in a competitive industry. No, they're built in a lot of yeah. stuff. Well, they're built and, yeah. and building. And I've got to say that there's, their trademark really is, is about quality yep. uh, and about additional space, isn't yep. it? And I mean, when you look through this property, and I know you've done the video tour and we're here, here we're running with it now, but uh, the quality here is quite outstanding. Uh, we're describing it as a townhouse or town residence, but it really, is a house, isn't it, mm. when you think about it? I mean, there's nothing townhouse about it except by name. Um, what do you love best about this home? Look, I think when you think of the word townhouse, I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head. Yeah. I think people think of, you know, sometimes a bit claustrophobic. Narrow um, spaces. Yeah. You know, this place here is over 35 squares, which is incredible, uh, yep. which you pretty much don't find anywhere. No, um, let alone in freestanding homes on big blocks of land. That's maybe right. It's smaller than that. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, because it's a big yeah. block of land. It's still, you know, you've got the size here and you've still got a big backyard, which is very yeah. rare. So it's really ideal for you know, families with two, three kids that probably couldn't ordinarily live in a townhouse. Um, just, I'll just pick up on something you said, yeah. you're talking about quality and, you know, these guys do things differently. And, you know, I can't remember the last time I've gone into a, a property and like, like this, and there's been, you know, 3.3 metre ceilings downstairs, you know, 2.7 metres ceilings upstairs, um, you know, dorm frames that go ceiling high. Um, it's just those little things, the, the extra attention to detail that these guys put in. Um, that uh, you, know, you walk in and you notice straight away. Well, one of the things I love is the, the amount of light, but mm. also just the height of the ceilings, yeah. say the height of the doors, uh, the quality of the fixtures and fittings throughout. Um, even the air conditioning, you can actually zone it completely throughout the yep. house, which is also another outstanding feature. It's great security. And Adam, this one's got a lift in the middle of it. So someone like yourself that can come along as quite a young, healthy man, when you get old and crumbling and decrepit, you can use the lift, which is something to look forward to in your, in your later years. Uh, but that lift's a great feature. I mean, yep. 
don't find that very often, but uh, these guys do do it differently. This is in fact, and I don't think the vendor would mind us saying, but this is actually the vendor's home here. Yeah. Um, so it's not something that they built actually just for spec. Mm, uh, that's, that's not, right. there's no mass production here. Everything's very individually thought out and designed and finished, and this is the builder's own home. So it's quite a special mm. offering. I will say also with the lift is, is one of the reasons they put in there is because they want to target to all markets. So, you know, people who may have an older, you know, family member to come and stay from interstate or what have you, you know, they're not restricted with the stairs. So it's really cleverly designed. Well, it's a good point. And uh, I mean, often homes of this size are designed really for, you know, young people or young professionals. Mm. But because you've got so much land uh, in terms of this garden to enjoy, which is spacious, and because you've got the level of accommodation, space, size and lift, it really crosses over all the generations. Mm. So I could see this being for someone older, mm. uh, a family home without yep. any shadow of doubt or problem. Um, and I think one of the other things that I love, which is just, I don't know if the builders knew about this or it just happens to be a bonus, but everywhere you're looking out into the most beautiful greenery, and for the main bedroom, which is massive upstairs, you've got this view of all those beautiful trees, yeah. tennis grove beyond. It's just completely the west, private so everywhere you look. It is very private, mm. it's very unique. So this one's just starting up now. It's gonna be open for the first time this weekend, 19 B Kuyong Road. It's not often that we speak at such great length about a home, but this is one we're really excited about. It is a special offering to the market, so make sure you make your way down to this one. And every time I sell for these guys, because the product's always good, um, I, I get armies of people coming through the inspections, even yeah. just, just to see the level of, of what people are doing today. And this Nosy is really, people, you know, nosy parkers, well, we used I to call them. Well, I wouldn't quite put them like that. Well, I've they are, because- Same people doing their research and, and homework. And, but, and, and I think also, and there's a bit of a builder envy as well. So some of the builders want to see what's going on because they've heard about the, these guys, these olive construction, that they're doing something different. So they all want to see what's happening here, don't they, Adam? Uh, look forward to seeing you here. Let's talk a bit about what's happening this weekend because we've got 16 auctions over 11 suburbs, Adam. Which That's is a busy weekend. And it's pretty amazing that we've got them over 11 suburbs. Why? Because, well, well I think, you know, old school real estate says, yes. and you talk, you know, we were talking off camera before about yep. what's changed over the last That's 20 right. years. Yeah. And, you know, you, you used to really need to be in that suburb, I think, to, yep. to be able to cover it well. But with technology and the way our sales team work, um, you know, people are employing us all over the place because they know that we're going to get the job done. Well, it has changed a lot in 20 years. You know, some people ask me what happened, what was the difference when you started real estate? Some, you know, I say, oh, the wheel was invented. Awesome, awesome and, you know, car. Awesome car. <laughs> exactly right. And you know, my phone number had four numbers in it, but true. that's not true. Uh, but you know, you're not so young as yourself. You're always no, a young buck, so. 20 years now. So yeah, I think it has changed a lot um, in terms of now, you know, in the old days, you'd put people in the car and you'd drive them around, mm, wouldn't you? Mm. Now, no one's interested. We can't get anyone into our car. Time they, think, they think we're creepy if we ask yeah, them to come to our right. car now. Uh, people are time poor. They come to the opens. They're on the internet. Uh, so it's about the speed of response now, yep. isn't it? And yep. about giving people great information. Uh, but we're going to give people great information about the auctions up this weekend. Adam, Saturday at 10.30, we've got the Bentley Carnegie buzz going on. We've got three auctions, Bentley East, Bentley and Carnegie. Let's start by our first one. Uh, let's review this property that we're looking at in Centre Road. Yes, well, Bentley East is going from strength to strength. And uh, Saturday morning, we've got 907 Centre Road, Bentley. Uh, it's a beautiful weather board period home, very good four bedroom accommodation, two bathrooms and plenty enough street parking. And uh, from what I understand, it's gone very, very well. I've got the auction honours on that one, Adam. We're in Fairbank Road, Bentley at 10.30. Uh, we're doing the 10.30 double, or triple, I should say. Take us through this wonderful property. Yes, yeah, single level villa unit, a three bedroom, two bathroom. Uh, again, plenty of off-street parking, nothing to be done. One of those properties, you just walk in and, uh, and enjoy. It's all being done for you. Uh, Graham Callan has the auction honours at 10.30 in his hometown of Carnegie, Adam. This one, 1A Kingsley Parade. Now, that one's been very popular. A easy. three bedroom, two bathroom. And the price range there, somewhere around that seven or low sevens, uh, maybe more under competition. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing Graham. That's a great looking property too, Adam, and a great opportunity for somebody. Adam, Saturday at 11.30, we've got triple auction action. We're starting off in Burnett Street, St Kilda. We shot the St Kilda Report, one of the sister programs to GPTV at 11.30. Jeremy Rosen's looking forward to that auction. Take us through this great looking property. This is a ripper, I love this. This is an Art Deco, genuine Art Deco, old style, solid brick apartment. Um, absolutely timeless, these places. It's two bedrooms, good size living area. I think we're looking uh, over 500 and uh, should achieve that comfortably, I think. It should get that sort of price. It's a great looking apartment. I've been through that one and enjoyed it. Adam, Rigby Avenue, Carnegie. Uh, this is a property that uh, I've been very involved with. Daniel Reese is handling it. I'm the auctioneer. I'm looking forward to it. It's at 11.30 uh, on Saturday morning. Now, this is an amazing place. Uh, it is actually quite deceiving because on the outside, it looks like just a kind of nondescript but nice one of two villas but inside uh, you've got four bedrooms two bathrooms stunning internal and external entertaining areas it has been 
totally refurbished and renovated. There is not a cent to spend on this property in Rigby Avenue, which is in a lovely tree-lined avenue. We look forward to seeing you there at 11.30 Saturday. Adam, uh, at the same time that's on, we're in Wallace Avenue. Daniel Buston uh, is working on that. Leo Samuels auctioning it. And Oakley South is a terrific suburb. Very much so, very up and coming area. Uh, this is a beautiful period home. Uh, it's been well renovated, but one of those homes you can put your own stamp on. Uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, again, heaps of parking and a good sized block of land should go very well. I'm gonna continue doing the Bentley thing uh, on Saturday, Adam, at 12.30 in Paloma Street. Uh, in Bentley East, this is a fantastic looking home. Uh, I know that Leon Gusenfitter has enjoyed selling or standing on this one. He's gonna be sad when we sell it because he won't be able to go back there again. Yeah, this is a cute little place, a perfect sort of first home or coming out of an apartment. Um, the home is, uh, it's been updated, so you can certainly move in and do nothing. But again, you can update it to the next level. 428 yeah. square metres, so it's a good size block too. Yeah, it's not so little after all, is it? No. Yeah, no, it's a good home, that one. It will do well. Tattenham Street, Caulfield East, Graham Callan, back in business, doing the auction here for this terrific apartment. Very affordable, Adam, 270 to 300. That represents pretty good value in Caulfield East, I would have thought. Uh, come along 12.30 and see Graham doing that. At 1.30 p.m., we've got double auction action in East St Kilda. Uh, we're going to be around the corner, these two auctions from each other. One of them is in The Avenue. Nikki Janov has been handling this, Jeremy Rosen's auctions, and this is an outstanding looking property. Amazing property and an amazing location. Every time we have something in The Avenue, they always go well. But this is a two-storey townhouse uh, that's, uh, again, very good accommodation, three-bedroom accommodation, double garaging, which is also very rare for that location. Excellent. We are going to be finishing off at 1.30 with our co-130 auction just around the corner, Adam, from the Hank Marvin Market. Have you been to the Hank Marvin Market? No, I haven't, Gary. It's a beautiful place to go to on a Saturday. It's situated in the park in Alma Road, opposite the gym that I understand that you frequent there. You know that gym in Alma Road? Because I think you don't know. Oh, I used to go there, yes. That's don't right. you go there anymore? No, no. Oh, no, fair no, enough. No. You moved on to a yes. different one. Fair enough. Adam, it's a simpleton, very simple gym. Very simple gym now. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's yeah. good to see you staying fit. And you know if you're on screen with Philip, he'd be talking at length about yeah. your fitness. But you've got me today. So I'm just going to get down to business and talk <laughs> about this so auction. Glad he's not <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Uh, Westbury Street, Adam, 1.30. Uh, this is a great looking property too. I think it should be popular. Lee or Samuel is popping back to see St Kilda to do this one. This is a beauty because it's a really good size. It's got two bedrooms. And unlike most apartments in the area, it's got separate lounge and dining, which is uh, a real bonus for you. Indeed. Uh, that one should go well, and uh, we are looking forward to bringing it to the market on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, the 1st of May, Adam, we have got, and May, May, can you believe May? What happened to the year? How quick has it been? May already. Oh, they go fast, already. don't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look forward to that. Well, Philip's looking at spending probably most of his holiday working on how he can make a tax deductible at the moment, but that's another story. We've got six <laughs> auctions. You'll find a way, Gary. He's looking, and he's got six auctions. And uh, we've got six auctions, I yep. should say, Adam. And the first of those is in Balaclava Road. Leo Samuel auctioning this one. He's a busy boy on the weekend, Leo. Uh, take us through this one on yeah, 145 it. Balaclava Road, just near the corner of Kuyong Road, around the corner of my joint. Unit two, uh, yep. great spot, very close to Caulfield Park if uh, exercise in the morning is your thing. Yes. Uh, this is a great size, two bedrooms, it's got two bathrooms, very, very open plan. So people who like entertaining will be perfect for this one. Indeed, uh, I'm meeting Elsa at the same time there, Adam, at 11.30am in Farnham Street, Caulfield. I'm looking forward to seeing this property. There's been good interest. Uh, Elsa's excited about it. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom, double parking spot. Uh, Adam, this one's got a good look and feel about it and it's on a good block of land. So it's really going to be a good opportunity for someone looking in that sort of low ones. Uh, I'm looking forward to that auction. I think that's a real recommended buy. We've got two of them at 12.30, Adam. We're going to be at 53 Balaclava Road that we know as Greyfriars, that building, and uh, that's what it's known as. That's right, I'm very yeah. familiar with this block. I've sold a number in there, and I'm yep. actually involved in this one too, which is you fantastic. Are. This is number 34. Uh, it's an older style block with the most beautiful greeny surrounds everywhere. It's in a um, unique prop, a new block, isn't it? Because you've been in this fantastic garden city, as you rightly say. It's uh, a real community in that there, one. Actually, it is a good community in there. And that one goes up at 12.30. Looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, I will be there with you and Joel, Adam. At uh, 12.30, Simon Rodonick will not be there because he's going to be in Trevelyan Street in Caulfield South. Uh, auction this terrific property. Take us through it. Uh, yeah, there's a beauty, like great location again. Uh, a very, very good house. It's a house that uh, you know you can you can do some extensive renovations. You could live in, rent out, improve. Absolutely, but it's also 673 square meters, which and is how... an oversized block for the for the area. Well, it is, and land's so hot, isn't it? Adam? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it could easily be pulled. I mean, you always feel bad saying that about lovely homes, but you know, there's people out there who are wanting to create new masterpieces like this. Yep. Uh, is it possible that could be pulled down, perhaps? Yep, and with uh, that sort of block and a 15 metre frontage, uh, yep. it really opens up your options dramatically as far as what to do there. Investment, development or home, you choose, come along, have a go and buy it. Well, all three. It could be all three, Adam. We're going to see you in Alexander Street. Philip is back 
on Sunday the 1st of May, having conceded that he can't get that trip to be tax deductible. So he's going to be very keen to sell and pay because he's got 30 days on his credit card. And let me tell you, it's expensive over there in Europe. Uh, take us through this property, 23B Alexandra Street in East St Kilda, that you have been very intimately involved mm. with. So I've actually got the power there as far as whether I sell it or not. The you have. You have. Actually. Exactly right. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good to be in my head. Exactly. Uh, but no, I'm very excited about this one. Uh, obviously, we've had a few weeks. We've had armies of people going through. Uh, it's a brand new property um, and uh, again, it's one of those where quality uh, has been front of mind for the owner and it's amazing, this place. Looking forward to seeing you there and Philip back in business and performing and even though he will have just got off the, fly, the, the flight and plane, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to put him to work straight away and we're even going to put him to work at 3.30 because it's our last auction of the weekend. That's in our father street. There's yep. been good interest in this property. Yeah, this in Caulfield well. South, Leon's been involved. Take us through this one. Uh, I can tell you we've had a lot of people inspect this one. Uh, it's just a good family home in that area. It's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, everything that opens and shuts and you know, perfect for young families. Absolutely, a good street too. And isn't it all happening around Caulfield South? So much going on, cafes and the parks, fantastic. You were buzz that wasn't there a few years ago. You're right. It's mm. kind of, you know, it kind of went from a bit of a quietish, you know, sort of boring to being a very hip, mm. groovy, upmarket place. And around 20 the same years time, ago when I started, the suburb didn't even exist. I was exist. about to say, it's around the same time as you moved out, it got really good. So I'm not sure if there's a message in that, Adam, <laughs> but uh, it is a good, good area. You've lived there and enjoyed it as well. Yep. So Adam, just when we thought the show was over and there was no more to talk about, He's tuned in via satellite. We've got some actual Always footage. Always finds a way, doesn't he? Can't get, he can't get rid of him, you know. I couldn't have sent him any further away. This is, this is the tax deduction. This is the tax deduction yeah. part. I reckon this is the part he'll be looking to the accountant saying, yeah. surely, I had to ring uh, up because I tuned in, yeah. I get a tax deduction. Yeah. So, so let's hear from him. Let's put him on the screen. What have you got to say all the way overseas there? It's over to you via satellite, Philip Kingston. Yeah, thanks, Gary, uh, and great to see you and great to be on GPTV all the way from the Italian Riviera. I'm in Santa Margherita, uh, and uh, obviously this is a fact-finding mission. We're here to see the various styles of real estate and see what's happening on the Italian Riviera in terms of property prices, and obviously to form a relationship with an agency here because uh, Santa Margherita and Melbourne have got a lot in common. Not quite sure what that is, uh, and I just want to know, Gary, what are you thinking of this Italian... Uh, um, a bit of a uh, beard happening here. I think it's a, a new look for me when I come back to the Melbourne real estate scene. But now I'm going to go in just in case, of course, the, the Taxation Commissioner of Australia is watching the show, and I'm sure he does. I'm about to walk in to the real estate agency right now. Walking, walking. Uh, back to you, Gary. Well, thanks for that, Philip. It's always good to hear from you, and uh, you can't keep a good man down. doesn't matter which end of the globe he's at. He's always got something to say, hasn't he, Adam? You just can't silence see, the guy. See, sometimes technology is such a, not such a good point. <laughs> Very good point there. 20 years ago, <laughs> right. it would have been a phone we'll call. Would have been a phone call at best, and it would have cost thousands. Right. We would have had to tape it, you know, with a real tape no, recorder. He have been, yeah. No, exactly right. Mm. Um, that's a big wrap on GPTV. It's been great to have you on, Adam. Thank, thank you. you so much. We're looking fun. forward to having you on again in the future. I know you've been on before. It's always lovely to have you here. Thanks for everything you've done uh, at Gary Pure Associates for Gary Pure Associates. You are a success story. 20 years in, a director of the company. Uh, uh, we appreciate you and thank you again. Uh, and of course, couldn't do it without your great assistant, Katarina, because I know that she supports you and is your rock. Um, and I know you've said many times how good she is. Mm. Um, so thank you, Katarina, again, and for Joel for standing by you all these years. And that's a big wrap for GPTV. I'm Gary Peer. And I'm Adam Jusky. See you next time.